Chapter 1042 Wu Dong Qian Kun. This small city had also become noisy because of this and it was no longer as quiet as it was on the desolate plains. This small city was called Little Desolate City and it was a resting place within the desolate plains. Many groups that were traversing through the desolate plains in search of prey would usually choose to rest at such a place. Moreover, they could also use this place to avoid some of the hurricanes and cold fog that occasionally appeared on the desolate plains. When these people gathered at this place, they would also engage in some transactions. For example, they would exchange goods that they had taken a fancy to. Of course, there were more fights in such a place. The demon region was chaotic to begin with and this beast war region was even more chaotic. There was a campsite around it and various vulgar and ferocious curses were being emitted. After which, they spread into the distance. There was an open ground in front of the campsite. At this moment, many people were gathered at this place. Many fluttering flags indicated that they belonged to different factions within the beast war region. At this moment, various boastful voices were being emitted from this open ground. Most of them were boasting about the rewards that their group had obtained during this trip. Tisk, we have only defeated a group of bandits. My Blood Python City has massacred three strongholds during this trip. Our rewards are more than what you have obtained by force. A bare-armed man on the side of the Blood Python City laughed in a pleased manner after hearing the conversations of the other people. There were many crisscrossed scars on his face, causing him to look extremely ferocious and ferocious. Tisk, Hu Cheng, your Blood Python City only knows how to find those weak strongholds to show off. What can you possibly obtain? An untimely voice was transmitted from the side when the bare-armed man's loud laughter sounded. Everyone looked over and saw a skinny man laughing in a strange manner. There were also quite a number of people clustered behind him. The bare-armed man's eyes revealed a ferocious glint as he stared at the skinny man. However, he did not attack furiously. Clearly, the latter was no small fry. Moreover, the faction behind the latter was not much weaker than their blood python city. The bare armed man's eyes flickered with a ferocious glint. He turned his head and looked at the rock to the side. An exceptionally strong large man was swallowing the roasted leg in his hand in a few bites. After which, he lifted his somewhat scarlet eyes and stared at the lean man. His mouth parted into a dense smile as he said, Two young ladies from the Nine Tail tribe. Do you think they are valuable? An uproar spread from the surroundings after these words sounded, while the eyes of many brightened up. The Nine Tail tribe was renowned in the demonic beast world. The girls in the tribe were born with a natural charm that could only be chanced upon and not sought after. The corner of the strong large man's mouth parted in a pleased manner when he saw the reaction of these fellows. After which, he waved his hand. The wheels behind him rolled and a carriage cage was pushed out. One could see two petite figures hugging each other within the carriage cage while trembling. Their faces, which were covered with water, were filled with horror as they looked at those wild beasts, whose eyes could not hide their filth. Although it was impossible to clearly see the faces of these two ladies, the enchanting curves that they revealed as they hugged each other caused the breathing of many onlookers to become a little heavier. He he, brother Lei Jen, can you sell one of these beauties to me? The skinny man from earlier licked his mouth. He extended a finger and shook it. One million zon yuan pills. What do you say? Many people around revealed a startled expression. This fellow was really generous. He actually shouted a price of one million zon yuan pills in one go. Wang Hu, this is a gift for our city chief. Yet, you actually dare to enjoy it? The strong large man, who was called Lei Jen, ridiculed. The skinny man's expression finally changed upon hearing these words. He immediately laughed dryly. He had heard of the cruel reputation of the city chief of the Blood Python City. Lei Jen smiled in a pleased manner when he saw this fellow shrink back. After which, he waved his hand and instructed his men to push the carriage back. I say, can you sell these two girls to me? Just as Lei Jen waved his hand, another laughter was suddenly transmitted over. Everyone raised their heads in astonishment as their gazes looked towards a tent. Unknowingly, two figures had appeared there. With the help of the bonfire, one could see that the person who had spoken in front of them seemed to be a tall and straight young man. Lei Jen looked at this young man who had suddenly appeared. He frowned a little and laughed coldly. Sure. Are you able to take out 10 million Zan Yuan pills? The mouths of everyone around twitched. This fellow really knew how to talk nonsense. 
Although the young ladies from the Nine Tail tribe were valuable, it was clearly far from this level. Everyone looked towards the top of the tent, only to see the young man squatting down with a smile. He laughed, All of you snatched my grilled meat by the roadside earlier. Can I use this to pay for 10 million Zon Yuan pills? Everyone's expressions became even more strange after these words sounded. Was that grilled meat made from the Dragon Tribe or the Celestial Demon Martin Tribe? However, there were some sharp individuals who narrowed their eyes. They could sense that something was amiss. Did this unfamiliar young man not know that these people were from the Blood Python City? These people were definitely not easy to deal with. Lei Jen and Hu Cheng's expressions gradually became ugly in front of these strange gazes. The eyes of the people from the Blood Python City behind them flickered with a ferocious glint. Cold blades and swords had already appeared in their hands. It seems like we have met someone who has come to take revenge. Lei Jen laughed ferociously. He was in a hurry earlier and did not have the time to pay attention to the Lin Dong duo by the roadside. Hence, he did not expect the latter to take the initiative to approach him. However, today, I will let you know that you are still too inexperienced to act arrogantly in front of my blood python city. Kill him, chop him and feed him to the dogs. Hu Lei cried out ferociously. Swoosh. The experts from the blood python city behind him immediately charged forward with a ferocious smile after his cry sounded. Majestic Yuan power erupted and their aura was quite powerful. The surrounding people withdrew a little when they saw this scene. After which, they stared at the lively scene in front of them as though they were watching a good show. They were very curious just how capable this young man was. He actually dared to snatch the meat in front of two initial profound death stage experts from the Blood Python City. Lin Dong looked at the experts from the Blood Python City, who were charging over with great murderous intent. He sighed and shook his head. After which, he spoke to Xin Qing beside him, step back. I. Xin Qing nodded obediently. Although there were two initial profound death stage experts from the Blood Python City, she had witnessed how ferocious Lin Dong was when he fought with Hua Chen and Xu Xu back at Fiery Flame City. The lineup in front of her was clearly unable to pose much of a threat to the latter. Lin Dong's eyes gradually revealed an indifferent iciness after Xin Qing stepped back. He extended his hand and slammed it forward. At that moment, an extremely majestic Yuan power swept out and directly transformed into a huge Yuan power palm. After which, it ruthlessly slammed forward. Bang bang bang. Low and deep sounds appeared one after another. Those murderous looking figures flew backwards in a miserable manner, causing the troops from the Blood Python City to be in a complete mess. Profound death stage expert? A somewhat shocked voice swiftly spread. The eyes of those people, who were originally planning to watch a good show, hardened. Clearly, they did not expect that this young-looking person actually possessed such great strength. The eyes of the Lei Jen duo also changed slightly. They stared at Lin Dong in a dark and solemn manner and said, Are you planning to become enemies with our Blood Python city? Lin Dong smiled towards the both of them. His body moved and he drifted down from the tent. His eyes looked towards the two lovely young ladies in the prison carriage and softly said, Hand them over. The Lei Jen duo's expressions were dark and cold. They exchanged glances with each other. The corner of their eyes swept towards the deepest part of the camp as murderous intent suddenly surged on their faces. Kill him. Majestic Yuan power swept out from within the bodies of the both of them at the same time. The both of them were at the initial profound death stage and they were quite well known within the Blood Python city. Although Lin Dong's strength had surprised them, it was merely so. They were confident that they could kill the latter if they joined forces. Boundless Yuan power wrapped around the two of them. Their bodies turned into phantoms as they crisscrossed and charged towards Lin Dong. Their bodies had swelled a little at this moment, while steel thorn like manes protruded from under their skin. Lin Dong's expression did not fluctuate as he looked at the two of them, who were rushing over. In the next moment, he gently lifted his foot and landed. Bang! The air seemed to have exploded at this moment, after which, the many experts present saw a light figure charge straight past. After which, they heard a loud, bang, before the prison carriage exploded. Everyone hurriedly shot their gazes over as wood fragments flew. After which, their pupils instantly shrunk. That young man was standing straight beside the prison carriage. Both of his hands were placed on the throats of two figures. At this moment, 
the two of them were struggling wildly. However, regardless of how they struggled, the hands on their throats were just like eagle claws and they did not budge at all. Gulp. The sound of saliva being swallowed could be heard in this area. Shock surged into the eyes of the experts from various factions at this moment. Previously, they did not even have the time to clearly see what had happened. Instead, the Lei Gen duo had already been defeated. Those were two initial profound death stage experts. Regardless of which faction in the Beast War region, they were powerful generals that could be put in an important position. However, they were currently as powerless as chickens in the hands of that young man. The eyes of some people quietly turned grave. It seemed like the Blood Python city had offended some tough foes. The two nine tail tribe young ladies on the prison carriage were startled when they saw this scene. Their bodies trembled as they looked at the calm young man. Their eyes contained a heartbreaking pleading expression. Bang. Lin Dong indifferently tossed the two of them aside as though they were trash. After which, he patted his hands. His eyes looked towards the deepest part of the Blood Python camp as he spoke in a faint voice. I will be taking them away. Are you going to attack? Chapter 1043 Wu Dong Qian Kun The campsite was in complete chaos. Those experts from the Blood Python city were shocked as they looked at the unusually miserable Lei Gen duo. It was likely that they were unable to imagine that the two powerful warriors from their Blood Python city were actually unable to withstand a single blow from this young man in front of them. At this moment, Xin Qing had also rushed over from behind. After which, she landed on the prison cart. Her large eyes were immediately filled with joy when she saw the faces of the two young ladies. Elder Sister Qing, Elder Sister Lu? Xin Qing? The two ladies, who were originally a little startled, were a little absent-minded as they looked at Xin Qing in front of them. It was a moment later before they recovered. Immediately, joy surfaced in their eyes. After which, tears began to gather. Lin Dong glanced at the three ladies, who were crying their eyes out. However, his eyes were looking towards the depths of the campsite. At that spot, there was an extremely obscure aura that was much stronger than the Lei Gen duo. Clearly, that person was the strongest person in this group. However, the latter's aura seemed to be extremely good at concealing itself. Even Lin Dong only sensed it when he neared the campsite. At this moment, the surrounding experts were looking at the deepest part of the campsite with surprise. Could it be that there were experts from the Blood Python city there? Could it be? Some experts frowned slightly and muttered to themselves. Haha, it is unexpected that even humans can act so arrogantly in this beast war region. An erratic horse laughter was finally emitted from the deepest part of the campsite in front of many pairs of eyes. After which, everyone's eyes became dazzled. When they regained their focus, a grey-robed figure had already appeared in front of the experts from the Blood Python City. The person who had arrived had a pale face. Both of his eyes were deep and he appeared a little sinister. His hand was exceptionally long and it was as sharp as a sword's edge. A faint fog frequently lingered around his body. That fog was a little pungent. Clearly, it contained a lethal poison. Little city chief of the Blood Python city? Zhao Mang? Quote. A group of people immediately scattered after this person appeared. Even the experts from the Blood Python city took a step back and pulled some distance away from that man. Their faces were filled with fear. Little city lord. The Lei Gen duo hurriedly climbed up and arrived beside Sao Mang in a somewhat miserable manner. The Xin Qing trio's small faces changed when they saw this person appear. The two young ladies from the Nine Tail tribe revealed a little despair in their eyes. It was likely that they did not expect that there was actually such a powerful individual in the army of the Blood Python city. Don't be afraid. Xin Qing gently comforted him. This Sao Mang was indeed quite famous. Being at the advanced profound death stage, he was much stronger than Lei Zhen and the rest. However, it was still difficult for him to pose much of a threat to Lin Dong. The fear in the eyes of the two young ladies weakened when they saw Xin Qing's calmness. After which, they secretly glanced at the tall and straight Lin Dong. They could tell that Xin Qing's calmness seemed to originate from him. However, did he really have the ability to fight against Sao Mang? That was an advanced profound death stage expert. I'm taking him away. Do you have any objections? Lin Dong smiled towards Sao Mang. His tone seemed to be asking for his opinion. However, only some of those who were constantly on the edge of a knife could sense the sharpness and iciness hidden under his smile. 
A human like you actually dares to say such words. Aren't you looking down on our demonic beast world? Lei Jen spoke in a stern voice. He clearly wanted to use Lin Dong's status to make the latter an enemy of everyone here. However, this did not seem to be very effective. Although it was indeed displeasing for a human to act so arrogantly in such a place, the strength that Lin Dong had displayed earlier also caused the other demonic beasts to feel quite afraid. However, Lin Dong ignored him. All he did was stare at the pale-faced Sao Mang and smile. Your senses seem to be exceptionally sharp. Therefore, I believe that you should be aware that you do not have the ability to stop me. The expressions of the surrounding onlookers changed once again. This was especially the case when they saw Sao Mang's increasingly gloomy eyes. Their hearts were startled. This young man was actually this powerful? Even Sao Mang, who had reached the advanced profound death stage, was unable to stop him? You are making an enemy out of our blood python city. You will regret it. Sao Mang's eyes were just like a poisonous snake as he stared at Lin Dong and spoke in a sinister voice. Lin Dong was noncommittal. He ignored him and merely waved his hand towards Xin Qing. After which, he turned around and left. Qin Qing hurriedly pulled the two ladies, who were still in disbelief, and quickly followed. Since you are so arrogant, why don't you leave your name behind? Let's see if our blood python city can afford to offend you. Sao Mang spoke in a sinister voice. Lin Dong. Lin Dong's footsteps paused. He turned his head and revealed a brilliant smile towards Sao Mang. After which, he did not pause and directly left. The surrounding demonic beast experts also hurriedly opened up a path. Their eyes were strange as they stared at the four individuals who had left. Little City Lord. Lei Jen and the other experts from Blood Python City looked at Lin Dong's group, who had swaggered away. Their expressions turned ugly. Although Lin Dong was quite powerful, it was likely that he would not be able to resist if all of them were to attack him together. I am no match for him. That brat is not simple. Even if all of us were to attack him together, I'm afraid that we will not be able to hold him back. Sao Mang's eyes were dark and cold as he glanced at Lei Jen and said. Is he, is he really that strong? Hu Lei clenched his teeth and asked in disbelief. Sao Mang was an advanced profound death stage expert. On the other hand, Lin Dong was only at the initial profound death stage no matter how he looked at it. Even though his fighting strength did not exceed this level. Are you doubting my senses? Sao Mang glanced at Hu Lei. Cold sweat immediately appeared on the latter's forehead as he shook his head repeatedly. He was also aware that Sao Mang's senses were indeed quite outstanding. If it was not because the two of you trash were acting ostentatiously, how could such a thing have happened? Sao Mang spoke in a dark and cold manner. The Lei Gen duo were covered in cold sweat. They did not dare to retort. What should we do? With so many people watching, it is likely that news will soon spread. At that time, if others were to know that we allowed a human to openly snatch someone from our hands, our Blood Python City's reputation will be tarnished. An expert from the Blood Python City spoke in a disgruntled manner. Sao Mang looked in the direction where Lin Dong had disappeared. A ferocious smile rose from the corner of his mouth. How can it be so easy to snatch someone from my Blood Python City? Relax, he will regret it. There is only one fate for anyone who offends my Blood Python City. That is death. Haha. Ha. I suddenly wish to see that brat kneeling on the ground and begging for mercy. Quote. A bonfire rose in a forest far from the little desolate city. Lin Dong sat quietly, after which, he wore a smile as he looked at the three beautiful young ladies, who were whispering to each other. While they were whispering, Lin Dong could hear some soft exclamations. The two young ladies from the Nine Tail tribe were continuously looking at him with shocked and even worshipful eyes. It was likely that they had overheard Xin Qing talking about something related to Lin Dong. Lin Dong acted as though he did not hear this. He gently leaned against a tree trunk and lifted his head to look at the night sky. After which, he listened to the delicate and soft voices of the young ladies beside him, causing his heart to become a little calm. The voices from the other side continued for some time. After which, the extremely tired nine-tail young lady leaned against the tree and fell into a deep sleep. Only Xin Qing took care of them for a while before she carried a soft blanket to Lin Dong's side and knelt down. Her pretty small face was a little flushed as she looked at Lin Dong and softly said, Sir Lin Dong, thank you. From her eyes, Lin Dong was able to see some heartfelt gratitude. 
If Xin Qing's feelings towards Lin Dong were a mixture of fear and respect before, the emotions in her eyes right now could be considered as a true respect. Lin Dong smiled and waved his hand. His eyes gently glanced at the two ladies, who had fallen into a deep sleep. A faint glint flashed across his eyes. Although part of the reason why he intervened this time around was to help Xin Qing rescue her tribe members, he also had his own considerations. Based on what Qing Ji had said, it was likely that Little Flame was in this Beast War region. Currently, Lin Dong was unable to find him in such a vast region. In that case, he could only allow Little Flame's name to spread. It was likely that Little Flame would understand when Lin Dong's name was transmitted into his ears. At that time, it was likely that the two brothers would meet again. As for how to spread this name, it naturally required some stepping stones. Coincidentally, the Blood Python City was delivered to them. The incident tonight would likely cause this name to spread. However, this was far from enough. Lin Dong smiled faintly when he thought of this. Blood Python City huh? Although there was no enmity between them, they were the ones who came knocking on my door. In that case, I have no choice but to sacrifice you. For the next day, Lin Dong continued to travel under Xin Qing's lead. However, the latter was a little surprised that Lin Dong, who had raised his speed to the limit two days ago, had purposely slowed down. This caused her to be a little puzzled. However, she did not dare to ask. All she could do was to follow Lin Dong's instructions. While Lin Dong's group continued to travel, quite a number of rumors spread across this region. Although there were many disputes in the Beast War region, it was quite rare for a human to dare to provoke a demonic beast faction in such a place. This was especially the case after some people became aware of the activity within the Blood Python City. Many pairs of eyes gathered and waited for a good show to begin. Ha ha. A young lady's clear and pleasant playful voice drifted across the sky causing the boring journey to have an additional trace of liveliness. Chin Ching ran up a tall slope, after which, her small face was a little excited as she waved towards the few people behind her. She was just about to shout something when she suddenly sensed that something was amiss. She suddenly lifted her head and her small face instantly turned pale. She could see a large group of people standing on the plains in front of the tall slope. Many blood python flags were fluttering in the wind while a ferocious aura swept apart. There was a blood python throne in front of those people. At this moment, a blood-robed man was leaning on the throne. His expression was indifferent as he looked at the few people who had appeared on the tall slope. After which, a cruel expression was slowly lifted from the corner of his mouth. 